slim, but I really hate the way they, they don't let you change the extended hour shading on their, um, in their appearances. It's, it's always going to be uh, like 50% white. Um, so whatever the background color is, it'll just be a 50% transparency of white. Um, which for me is a little a little much because I like to have a, a candle script going that um, changes the candle colors and when the background color is um, you know when it's too bright then they don't show up very well also I just think it looks crappy when it's in higher higher time frames um, then it just sort of looks terrible and so your options are to turn them off which um, you know, you can do from within the, the style menu. Um, and the, the other thing I want to do is uh, show rollover lines, um, which is part of the, uh, I believe that's the time axis um, rollover lines here. And if you click on this, it'll put it in the study menu. I'll show that in a minute. Um, but then in equities, uh, highlight extended hours trading session. Um, I don't want it highlighted. Um, and again, display the setting on the style menu. This is the little trick of the day. Um, so when you close it, so now I have the uh, rollover lines, but not the extended highlighted um, because I want to know the difference between AM and PM. I want to see, you know, I don't want to guess where that is. Um, so what I did was I wrote a study that will let you change this to whatever you want. Um, and that study is the bell lines. Um, so I'm going to run through what some of this does. Um, and you can you can kind of see the finished product down here. The the uh, backgrounds are, are already set up there. Um, so in the if you just add it uh, directly, then my defaults are already set um, in there. But if you go in here, um, I can change the the default colors are in globals. Um, and so if you set it to uh, not shade extended hours, show below. Um, is when it, when it appears. So if you only want it to show below the day, then they will only show below the day. You can show them above, but I don't know why you would. But then you can set it so that they only show below like two hours or, or whatever you want. Um, but then when you don't have ex shaded extended hours, then these lines show up and you can change the color of the lines in that global again. And this will show its own rollover line. And you can see there's some text here of, of where that is. Um, some of the other options that you can do with the, the um, if you choose not to shade uh, or if you choose to shade instead of the, the lines, it'll, it'll give you a, a color. Um, and you can make that color whatever you want. So if you make it, you know, blue, let's say you really like blue, then there's your blue. And you can still kind of see the, the, um, the rollover line in there. Not very well, but I don't really like blue. So what you can do, here's another pro tip. Um, if you didn't already know, uh, you can make colors transparent by clicking on this more. And then go into the the tabs like these tabs all have um, transparency or alpha it's also called um, which is a, a backwards transparency um, but if you change the transparency to something you know better you'll see you'll see what the final will look like here then when you hit apply now your transparency color is um, set and this is way better than you know what it was because now you have total control over not just the transparency but the the, the color as well. So if you like the original white, you can always go in, make it white, go into more and just make it more transparent than that 50% shade. So you can make it as much or as little as you want. Um, and that is so much better if you're trying to chart and you don't want it to be distracting. Um, you know, you can turn you can turn that that uh, separator rollover line on and off too. Um, the other thing I just added is this custom bell noise. Um, so when you uh, normally there's this this ding you know this uh, bell ringing noise um, that you can turn off um, but you can't change it and so what I wanted to do was set it up so that you could turn on a, one of the other noises that they use um, so there these are the other sounds like this is the sound it makes when a, when a trade goes through um, the ring is the sound of I believe it's when you get a message um, and then the ding and the bell are just the other two default noises that they have. Um, so you can change it to one of these, and then what will happen uh, when you, uh, you, you uncheck Show in Message Center, then it won't show the little um, message at the top. Um, otherwise, you'll get a little message that just says Market Open or Market Close. Um, but then you hit OK, and when you hit Apply, you, know, you, you'll, you may hear the ding depending on if you're in, you know. But then w once you get to uh, Open or Close, the first candle um, that paints will set off that alert. So it's a way of tricking the system into, into uh, 
having a different alert noise. Um, but you have to turn off your you have to turn off the 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 actual bell noise in uh, uh, I believe it's actually up in in the settings of the the overall app, um, which is on my other screen. Um, and you know that that's where you can turn off that that bell notification noise. I've always found it a little bit loud. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can see this is highlighting here. That's another setting in the uh, in the main style. Um, just highlight studies on hover. You can uncheck that, and then it'll stop doing that, which is kind of nice. I don't like when my studies highlight on hover anyway. Um, but that'll keep your bell lines from flashing as you as you roll over them. Um, you can still modify things like when it when it draws on the screen. You can still um, edit your studies directly. They just don't highlight on hover anymore, which is another bonus tip. Um, so yeah, and I think that's that should be all the different settings for all of the options. Um, and I usually keep this under um, four hours, just because. I like to see it on the two hour, but not the four hour. Um, and then uh, again, the colors are in globals here, so you can change them if you want the lines, that's open and close, and then the rollover line, um, and then otherwise the EXT shade is the what the background for the external hours will be. Um, so if anybody has any questions, um, you can always find me on Discord or Twitter at uh, Richard underscore the underscore red. Um, Thanks for watching.